Did you know that one tablespoon of soil has more living organisms than the total number of people on this earth? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video we will learn about the properties of soil. Soil is important to all life because it helps support the growth of plants. Soil is made up of water, air, weathered rocks, organic material, and living organisms. We classify soil according to its color, texture, the size of its particles, and the ability it has to absorb water and support plant growth. Dark colored soil is an indicator of rich organic matter being present. Lighter colored soil has less organic matter present. We also classify soil according to the size of its particles. Gravel contains the largest particles, followed by sand then silt, and lastly clay. The sizes of particles have a direct effect on the amount of water retained by the soil. The larger the size of the particles, the less water retains. Large sized particles allow for water to flow through them easily and retain very little or no water, while soil that contains small sized particles has a larger surface area that resists the flow of water and allows for it to be retained. For example, gravel has large sized particles that do not retain water, followed by sand which also has large sized particles that retain very little water, then silt which retains some water, and clay which retains too much water. In order to support plant growth, soil must retain just the right amount of water. Topsoil contains a combination of particles of different sizes, some large and some small, which retain just the right amount of water and create a nutrient-rich environment that supports plant growth. Let's review what we just learned. Soil is an essential part of life that sustains plant growth. Soil can be classified according to its color, texture, the size of its particles, and the ability it has to absorb water and support plant growth. Large sized particles retain very little water, while small sized particles retain too much water. Topsoil retains just the right amount of water because it contains a combination of large sized particles and small sized particles.